Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the last video, uh, I have created a data loss prevention policy. You can see uh, data loss prevention policy where manuals and automatic using templates. And please go and watch. And today I will create a web control policy. So how can we create? Let's watch my YouTube channel video and please like and subscribe my my channel. So you need to uh, just click on add policy, go to add policy and here select uh, 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 web control, click on next, here we need to allow web control full access just create name web control full directory now uh, i want to add another one click here to web control and click on next web control full block i have created two category web control full block and web control full access so you can if you scroll down then you can see here we have created two group web control full block web control full access uh, then we need to click on first we double tap on that uh, icon icon and go to setting you can uh, see here and uh, web control info setting this uh, section of policy note if HTTP uh, description is on thread person policy uh, policy will be for device it will also use for web control check for same so you can click on here and we have already allow HTTPS so you can see here so we don't know to change anything we need to go again setting full block and here we need to allow additional security view like uh, additional security like uh, uh, I am not do anything I need to sit down then I don't know why I cannot change let me check why this is happening okay okay now you can see additional security click on let me is this file uh, let me yes click on let me <laughs> yeah then you can allow or disables now uh, my recommendations recommendation uh, i will block because this will block so block contains all and then click on here first clean out here you can allow or block i have block because this is block policy social media everything i want to block here you can click here so block all data sharing and here you can see log and if you want any website allow then you need to add here like uh, not available website okay add here sorry okay we need to tag identify so this is uh, how can we block this uh, how to create a block full block access policy on sofa central uh, sofa central you can uh, allow uh, java and these area so you can select allow but here we recommendation follow recommendation that's why that's why we need to select block because we don't want to take risk on our organization so you can create like this policy how to block uh, users and uh, click on save then go to web control full access how you can define click click, click on ok then click here and uh, 
if you select on none then you can see uh, you don't see anything but if you click on block here you can check but here i have uncategorized block and here you need to if required pdf then allow otherwise you can block this one and also you can block this one also you can block this one java uh, java update you can allow or archive if required then you can block or allow and you can do like the same windows executable file exe you can allow or deny windows installer you can allow or deny windows library you can allow or deny like do you can create so here you can also select like let me check and let me check you can select here which is required but uh, in gaming sections i don't want to allow why you need to click full access block so you can create like this policy how you can work with your organization uh, because we need to sharing data always uh, click uh, click block here you can see sharing data download download email base you can need to allow then you can drop down allow and here you can allow and this is policy which is required uh, in our case you can add in your whitelist then you can add and then save this is your only methods because at per organization you need to create a policy so don't need to any more uh, help regarding this once you created policy you can add a full block uh, click on type users select users this user i want to click on block list you can do like this on each group sections like uh, full access if you want to allow full access then first avinash then you can select on users and move this group other one you can create a group here we have created group like admin group and uh, full block group you can add users in the full 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 block group like uh, i these users are full block users you can add here and uh, let me check and uh, admin level group you can see go and you can see if this is admin level group, you can add here and save now go to policy go to policy and full block full access click double tap select group and this is admin he writes full then you can move this users and then don't no no need to add now you can add just user on that group and the policy will be automatically apply full block users you go and select group and click full icon and click next and save now you can see we have created a successfully group based policy and uh, manual policy so you can uh, create like this and if you get error then definitely uh, reach out to me because uh, i don't have uh, i don't want to tell you more because you can check because if you set, set click on setting then there are a lot of informations like uh, in our organization which policy are required which policy are not which one to which application you want to allow or not you can select you can discuss with your it head he can help you then you can create this policy but how to create i have guide how to create uh, policy so so please follow and please like and subscribe my youtube channel if you get any error then definitely email me tag me i will help you thank you so much jayant